Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a review slash comparison of the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. This thing is freaking beautiful. I mean, it's been out on the market for about over two years, I believe, because I was watching reviews for over two years ago on YouTube. And um, I've always had my, on, my eye on it, but I thought it would be on sale on Black Friday, which it wasn't, but my mind was already made up, so I got it anyways. It's $399, basically $400 to be exact, rounded up, um, plus tax, plus warranty, which I got, well, a protection plan from Best Buy. It, it raised up really, really quick. It was more than $400, but I'm really excited. I did get the purple because I know they have a lot of different colors of it, so I'm going to be trying this out and also comparing it to what I used to use, which was the um, Xtava hair dryer. This is the Xtava Allure 2200 watts. It's ceramic and ionic, all that good stuff. I don't have the box anymore, so we'll get into that but if you guys want to see how this review goes and what i think on it on this dyson hair dryer then just keep on watching okay so this is the box it's not that heavy which i like um it gives you some visual there of what it does so that's like the motor and then all the information at the bottom other side is just so the other side says it's an intelligent uh, intelligent sorry it's an intelligent heat control for shine powerful digital motor thermos third guard against extreme heat damage to protect natural shine fast drying engineered for balanced smooth and controlling style um all back here has all this information so i'm just gonna quickly read through these um so it says it has a removable actually well we'll get to that let me just, I, I want to open it so bad, so basically, let me show you from here. You slide this off. It comes in this box, which again, you slide off, has all this protection stuff on this side. And then, oh, I like the way it comes. It looks so pretty. So it comes with a diffuser, nice little diffuser. Does it feel like plasticky? I think it is kind of plasticky. But it does have like, I don't know if you can tell, some like metal piece in the inside. I don't know. Um, it comes with another nozzle. This is the... Okay, so this is the wider nozzle. This is the smooth nozzle. It's gentle, low velocity airflow to dry in style at the same time. So it's this one at the very bottom, that one. And then again, the diffuser says evenly disperses airflow to dry curls gently and help reduce frizz. Put that over there. And then there's a styling concentrator, which is a little bit more skinnier. This is fast, precise airflow for controlled styling one section at a time. So I just wanna show you the difference between the two. So next, it comes with, down here, like a little um, holder. I'm not sure for what exactly. We'll find that out later. Um, it comes with a little booklet. Hello, and welcome to your new hair dryer. Again, I don't really read through these unless I come across a problem, which usually by that time, it's still not too late, and I can get, and I can find whatever issue I have. Oh, so basically, that's just, what it gives you, just to tell you what each nozzle does, all that stuff, that's the manual. Okay, so now you remove this, oh, you get something here, I just ripped that off, push that through, oh, and it comes with a little plastic too, oh, this is a little heating mat, which I really like because I thought that this didn't come with it. I thought it was like a package deal that you had to get with like the bag and stuff, which I know in Sephora that they do have that. But it's a little heating mat and it comes with a little plastic thing so you can hold it back in again. So I like that, but that just makes me concerned that this might get really, really hot. I don't know. That's just what's running through my head. So I'm just going to try and take this out right now. Pretty tough. That's what it looks like. It has a pretty long extension. Look at all this. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay, I've never... Okay, so that's the box empty. I'm just gonna put it aside. So I never seen like a hairdryer come with like this. I usually see computers come with like a power thingy like that, but it's a pretty long extension cord. So this is it, I assume, yeah. So it has like stickers. Not is it stickers you would call it, but like a protective film on it, which I'm just gonna take that off. Okay, so that's it. It feels nice. It feels pretty lightweight. Okay, this is getting really annoying. But it feels pretty lightweight, which I like. This, yeah. This is definitely lightweight compared to what I used to use. This one had a pretty long extension cord as well, so just to say. So, this also what I read. Oh, what is this? Oh, so that's the cartridge where you remove and, kill and clean, like the filter, which is nice. Lock it right back in. Yeah, it's a filter. So it says it right there. The air comes from down here, which is... This is really crazy. But, um, so this one, let me give you a backstory on the one that I used to use. I'm going to put my dice into the side. Okay, so let me tell you a little backstory on this one. This one, I purchased this about, well, I purchased one of these about a year ago. The same one. Um, this one is just this. I believe that it comes with this one nozzle. And the filter is, you just remove it. Just like any blower, you have to remove the, the mesh and then clean it and then put it back in. But I did have this um, about a year ago and then I noticed that the motor was like not working well and it wasn't distributing the heat evenly. Um, I was noticing that my hair was actually burning off in chunks. So I really like this blower anyways. It's really, really good. So once I noticed that, I did um, purchase a new one and this one is about two to three months old and it's been working really really good i just like my regular one but when i was trying to get the information for this video um it wasn't coming up on amazon because i did purchase these through amazon and i'm like okay that's really weird it's not coming up on amazon so i did a little search on the internet to try and pull up like the specs and the features and all that stuff so i can compare and i noticed that this was actually on recall for us catching on fire for burn, burning people and all this stuff so that explains why it's not on there anymore um so i think getting this dyson blower came at a really good time but i really did really did enjoy this um dryer it was really good to my hair except when the other one was like not working and burning my hair off but i mean i think it was time for me not to use this anymore this recall just came up in like august september so this will definitely not be used anymore so i'm glad i got this dyson and that's where i researched and came up that this was actually a recall so goodbye this i actually had to buy the diffuser separate which is 20 dollars. this was i don't know if i said it but this was like 56 dollars with tax and shipping um but the diffuser that it comes with is like this big web one which it's it's crappy it's not even that good i don't even like it so i'm really glad to use this dyson one because this is like what usual diffusers look like so I'm really excited to see and try this on my curly hair. Okay, so now moving on to the information on the Dyson. So there's a lot of different stuff, but I'm just quickly going to go through them. It says um, it has a remo removable filter cage, which is easy to remove for cleaning. It has engineered for balance, the only manufactured hair dryer with the motor in the handle, not the head. So it's like easier to maneuver and like better balance on your hand which is really good because that one was really hard to handle and it is very heavy um cold shot immediately deactivates heating elements for cooler air that sets hairstyle um power on and switch slider negative ions charges particles in the air help reduce static in the hair that's really freaking cool it has airflow settings so it has three precise settings led indicator clearly shows select settings stainless steel magnetic interface surface the only hair dryer with magnetic attachments for easy fitting and rotating which is really good because with my extava one it would become so loose it would fall off in the middle of me doing my hair um let's see air multiplier technology air is amplified three times producing a high pressure high velocity jet of air pulse with modulation um, enables precise control of heating elements, annular element construction, 
um, airflow exit, aperture design. Yeah, it just has a lot of good stuff. So it has four precise settings, it includes a constant cold mode for heat settings. Um, power, the Dyson Digital Motor V9's 13 impeller blades spin at up to oh, 110,000 RPM. It is fast, light, and small. Yeah, it just has a lot of stuff. Too many stuff, but I just wanted to read off some of them. So let me just show you. So now I'm gonna unveil my hair. So the tops have pretty much dried. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one side and time it compared to my Xtava one and then the other side with the Dyson and compare that. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this. Don't mind my hair. I'm just gonna fast forward through this and you guys will see the time difference. Alright, 
So it's now a few hours later because the battery died. I had to wait for the battery to recharge, which I apologize. But I did not get to record how long the Dyson side took, which was 11 minutes and 8 seconds. So basically, you can kind of see with this one, the one on the Extava side, I'm more used to that one. And I didn't like dry, like I didn't blow dry them to straighten them. I blew, I blow dried them to dry them if you understand what I'm trying to say so this one I'm more used to this one so this one looks pretty straight this one is a little bit more puffy because I'll show you them a uh, comparison side by side okay so this is a comparison of them side by side the Dyson compared to the Extava you see how much longer this is I'm very much used to this um, this one is pretty short so I was having difficulty like trying to figure out how to hold it if I hold it like this or if I hold it like this because I don't know if you could tell but I was holding I don't hold this um, blower like this by the handle I hold it by the head I like to hold it like that because I have more control that way so this one I had to get used to holding and then also I felt like sometimes I was covering the vent um, but it it dried pretty fast as you see it had like a three to four minute difference which is not a huge difference but i mean if you're that serious about cutting down time the dyson is really good it did dry really really fast so one thing that i have to say is that i can't set the preference that i want without having it turned on so let me show you it's gonna be loud those are the three lights three lights over here just to make it hot And that's the speed. And then here you press it for the cool shot, which blinks that. But it was pretty good. When I had it in the beginning all the way on the third, like the fastest velocity, my hair was like really going kind of everywhere I felt like. So I did it on the second one, which was pretty good. It was still pretty fast on all the way high heat. And I really enjoyed it. It dried my hair really fast. I felt like I was just flying by them. Well, flying by drying my hair and then this one I always have it all the way up in speed and in heat Ooh. sorry but yeah just so you guys can hear the sound difference this is so I'm gonna turn it on all the way up both so you can hear the sound difference so that's that one and then this one's all the way up so this one is obviously a little bit more louder but there's not really much of a difference. This one, obviously, I'm not going to use anymore because there is a recall on that. Not to say that this one, like, one of the bad ones, but I don't want to risk it. So this one, no more. But, sorry. I really did enjoy the Dyson. I like that it's magnetic, that it's easy to just clip on. This one doesn't fall off or move off. The one with the Xava, I did have um, some difficulty sometimes of, like, it just not connecting anymore or, like, sticking on to the nozzle. Um, I, I didn't get to use this one. I don't think I really will use this one because I like the more precise one because it's like more thinner. I get it exactly where I want to. And the diffuser, I cannot wait to use the diffuser. So if you guys do want to see a review of me using it, curling my hair, let me know down below and give this video a thumbs up just so I know that you guys want to see that. But all in all, I do really like the Dyson. Do I think it's worth $400 and change with tax and protection? Um... Right now, I don't feel like it. Maybe as I use it and I learn to use it more and, like, learn how to handle it, maybe my mind will change. I'll let you guys know in the future. Um, follow me on Instagram, and I'll let you guys know in my Instagram stories or whatever. The price is pretty hefty. If it was, like, $200, then, yeah, I would say go ahead because I like all the functions of, like, it protecting my hair because I do feel like it is protecting my hair. Even though it was super hot, I know that it's protecting it, and it's not, like, damaging or overheating it or burning it like the Extava. So I really do recommend this. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my um, hair, and I'll be back to finish this video. Okay, guys, so that is my review on the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. I really do enjoy it. I really did like it. It did dry my hair really, really fast. Just so you see, it's not my hair is not as frizzy anymore because I do straighten it after I do blow dry it. But I really do like it. I want to try it with the um, diffuser. I'm really excited for that because my hair, I, I'm still learning how to curl my hair exactly and perfectly like the beautiful IG models on Instagram. But... That is, again, if you guys want to see that, just let me know down below, and I'll be more than happy to do that. But I do like it. Again, the, the price is like, it still hurts my heart.
but it I do believe it is worth it. It is very pricey, so obviously you don't need this. This is something that you don't need, but I do do my hair often, and I do want to take every step that I can to protect my hair, and I think this was the best thing for me to do and invest in for my hair. Um, obviously, because I do dye it, I do color it often, but again, I really like it so if you guys like this review don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts below if you think it's worth it and if you have purchased it and what you've noticed in your hair ever since you switched over to this dryer from your last blow dryer and don't forget to subscribe and join my community and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys